This is how you add an SSD to your Arrow 15. It should be really easy. You only need the SSD, a knife to open the SSD, a 2.5mm Phillips head, and a T6 Torx screwdriver. You can start by flipping your laptop over, obviously, and you'll find the screws on the bottom. Unscrew them carefully and be sure to not lose any of these screws. There should be 13 screws, 4 on the bottom, 4 on the top, and 5 more in between. Uh, after you take out the screws, carefully pry open the bottom. It's just held in by plastic clips. You might have to pull a little, uh, just don't pull too hard because you might break the plastic clips. Mine took some gentle coaxing, and then you'll see the insides of the laptop. Uh, probably looks really scary, but this is your Wi-Fi card, and these are your RAM slots. Uh, here's your SSD and here's your giant battery. Uh, so your new SSD, use your knife to open it and this is what it looks like. Show it to the camera like a beauty guru and take out the screw that holds in the SSD on the left hand side of the battery with your 2.5 millimeter Phillips head screwdriver. So the SSD just clicks in really gently and you just push it down and screw it in. And that's it. You've installed an SSD. Congratulations. If your computer's a little dusty, now's a good time to get some compressed air and to blow it off. better. Now you just click back the bottom side of the laptop the same way you took it off, just carefully, and screw the screws that you took out back in. Uh, I did a star pattern because it evenly distributes the pressure on the bottom side of the laptop. It's the same technique you use on car tires, so might as well. Then you open up your laptop and turn it on. Great. And you press Windows and X. This will bring this up and click on the one that says Disk Management. Uh, this window should pop up and you should see your SSD here. Mine is 900 gigabytes. Even though it says one terabyte on the box, it's 900 gigabytes. Then you right click it, select New Simple Volume. Uh, this will open up this thingy and you just click Next. Uh, don't change the number because it's already at the maximum size. This is now when you name your drive name. I just left it as D. And then again, don't really need to change anything. Click Next click next again and your SSD should be ready. Uh, give it a few seconds and it should just pop up. Ta-da! See, now you can use it. And you just put your files in here and stuff and you're done. Thanks for watching. So yeah, I finally finished my college apps so I can make more videos now. Yay! Okay, bye.